Now there is just 20 days until election day and all of the polls have suggested this will be a tight race and the early numbers are showing it's an enthusiastic one. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington with the very latest on the race for the White House. The candidates on a battleground state blitz. Vice President Kamala Harris heading to Pennsylvania today, Wisconsin tomorrow, then Michigan on Friday and Saturday, and a stop in Georgia. Former President Trump also in Michigan later this week, then heading to Pennsylvania. Trump in Chicago yesterday, claiming January 6th was a day of love and peace. Trump pushing false claims of police inviting rioters into the Capitol. It was love and peace. And some people went to the Capitol. And a lot of strange things happened there. A lot of strange things with people being waved into the Capitol by police. Nearly 500 people have been charged with assaulting police officers. Nearly half convicted or pleading guilty. Today, Trump reaching out to female voters in a pre-taped town hall on Fox News. We had the safest border. We had the best economy. Think of it, a combination of security and finance. Harris working to sway conservative voters. She's campaigning today with more than 100 Republicans and sitting down for her first ever interview with Fox News. Harris appealing to black voters in Detroit yesterday. Detroit is going to help deliver Michigan, by the way. In an interview with Charlemagne the God, Harris says she plans to boost black home ownership, grow generational wealth, and lower prescription drug costs. They are trying to scare people away because they know they otherwise have nothing to run on. Ask Donald Trump what his plan is for black America. In battleground Georgia, long lines on the first day of early in-person voting yesterday. Last night, a judge blocking a rule approved by a pro-Trump election board that would have required ballots to be hand-counted. The judge saying the rule adds uncertainty and disorder to the election. And new numbers on the record-setting day in Georgia. More than 300,000 people voting yesterday. That's more than double the previous record set in 2020. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.